Hey fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you for the upcoming month. So it is going to be a general reading. Please keep that in mind. If you are interested in a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed just below the video. Okay, the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. And this is the overall energy that crowns uh, that crowns the reading, but I think this is like it's also the overall energy that feels like it's going to be lingering throughout the month. This is an energy of clarity. It feels like there's it feels like you're getting a lot more clearer on on your goals on your intentions on what you want um on your aspirations you're getting a lot more clearer on your desires and you're getting um especially also in in relation to like relationships or friendships or the action you want to take so you'll find that you're you've got this mental clarity right um, and you'll find that there is definitely a shift in energies when it comes towards uh, your mental energy so when it comes towards your thinking your thoughts your attitudes your beliefs um, there's this massive ship shift this like a really sharp massive shift in the energies here in the mental energies and you'll find yourself thinking a lot more clearer uh, being a lot more inspired or a lot more motivated um, and a lot more action orientated because you've got much more mental clarity you're then in a position where you're a lot more motivated to make certain decisions or to take certain action. You're a lot more like motivated and inspired. And because of this energy, you'll find that you're going to be getting a lot done this month. You're going to be getting through a lot. For those of you that are writers or creative um, creatives, you'll find that you're going to um, in experience like a, a breakthrough especially if you've had writer's block or anything like that, there's going to be this massive breakthrough. You're suddenly going to have all of these ideas like flooding into you. Um, uh, and just this energy, you're going to have a lot more energy as well. There's a lot more energy here, but a lot more ideas. I'm also seeing conversations are going to be a lot more intentional. And I feel like you're going to have a conversation or perhaps two or three with certain people this month where I feel like you're really going to get clear on where you stand with this person or, you know, where the relationship stands or where you want things to go. Some of these conversations might mean that you're going to be cutting people out of your life. And I feel like it feels like you're the one that's you're the one that's walking away or you're the one that's choosing to remove yourself or even like distance yourself from certain people or certain relationships or friendships just because you know it's probably time to walk away because you feel like you've outgrew this person you outgrew this relationship and you just feel like there's you know there's no more room to grow and you just feel like this relationship or connection is not benefiting you or is not like adding to your growth in any way so i do think that there are certain people that you're certain people that you're going to be cutting ties with distancing yourself or walking away from but i also feel like it's not it's not ghosting you're going to have the conversation where you're going to let this person know where they stand or where the relationship stands or prior to you making the decision i think that this person is going to really show you their true colors which in turn is going to make it a lot easier for you to you know remove this person from out of your life or cut ties with this person or just distance yourself so definitely a lot more like mental clarity, um, a lot more inspired energy. Um, you might also be studying something new, especially for those of you that are creatives, um, artists. 
there may be a new project that you might be inspired to start i do think that communication is going to be really big this month i don't know some of you might be looking to improve your communication um some of you maybe are hoping to you know really focus on just communicating with the intention okay so um and having certain conversations that you feel like are going to drive you forward in some way i do see you you've got some sort of fire in your belly there's a fire within you and it feels like you're really lit up you're really inspired you're ignited and maybe that's where you know because of this energy that's where all the ideas are coming in um but you're i see that you're very motivated to take certain action something that you've been wanting to do or um, wanting to get started on um or you know something you thought you should have done a long time ago i feel like you're finally going to get it done this month this time like this month is definitely a time for action getting things done you might be getting through your to-do list you might be just like you're really taking ownership of your life and for some of you, if where you are is not where you want to be, that in itself is going to be motivation enough for you to just, you know, go places, for you to start doing things, for you to start taking action. So I definitely feel like it, it's a month for action, it's a month for doing, it's a month for getting things done, crossing things off your to-do list, getting things done around the house, and especially getting things done that you've been wanting to, things that you've been wanting to get to but you've just been putting it off, well, not this month. This month, you're really taking action. I feel like you're going to be extremely busy. I really do. So much so that I feel like you're not going to have a lot of free time on your hands. I feel like you might be taking on more hours at work, taking like doing more hours at work, taking on more inc increased responsibility. You might be working your 9 to 5, coming home, and then you know working on your hobby, learning something new, learning a skill, maybe learning a new language. It feels like you're staying really busy and you're staying very productive and you're staying motivated. I honestly feel like you have some sort of goal or some sort of deadline that you've set yourself to achieve and you're really striving to meet that. Don't let yourself down. And you don't want to. I feel like you don't want to let yourself down. I feel like you don't want to disappoint yourself. So you're working really hard. Be careful because make sure you still take time for rest. So the Ten of Swords, uh, Ten of Wands energy, it does indicate that whatever this is might eventually take a toll on you. So make sure you learn to rest. Not learn to quit, but make sure you learn to rest. Okay, and if you feel like you're taking on too much, see if there's someone around you who can help you with that load, who can help you with that, you know, um, help you carry all that weight. Uh, speaking of carrying things, just be careful the way you lift things as well. If you're lifting any hev anything heavy, um, just yeah, just be careful. Make sure you lift it the right way. Watch, pay close attention here yeah, to the way that you lift heavy objects. Do it the right way. Pay close attention to your back. Um, yeah, there is this energy of you walking away, walking away from something that you know what you've been wanting to walk away from this thing for a long time whether it's a friendship a relationship a job i don't know some sort of toxic situation you've been for a long time you've been saying you know this is no longer what you want this is not growing this is not contributing to your happiness it's sort of taken away from that this person isn't right for you this isn't right for you this job is fatiguing it's not it's not emotionally fulfilling it's not rewarding it's not what you want to do you know you're you're finally making the decision to walk away because at the end of the day you are right there is something missing it's not emotionally fulfilling it's not rewarding it's not satisfying it's leaving you feeling a little empty so you finally get to yeah you finally get to do this thing get to walk away from something that you probably should have walked away a long time ago um, you might also find that there may be people who maybe distance themselves away from you you might find that you know yeah you might have someone ghost you or you might feel like people are dis certain people may have distanced themselves away from you um remember that sometimes the universe is doing you a favor and is removing certain people from your life i also feel like sometimes when you're in a really uncomfortable situation 
you feel it's comfortable right you feel like it's so familiar it's so predictable you feel like it's a safe situation or safe circumstance whatever this may be but it it's something you outgrew or it's something that just it's not meant for you you're meant to do bigger and better things so what the universe does the universe has this little trick up its sleeve where it makes things so uncomfortable for you to the point where you have no other choice but to get up and move to get up and go and I think this is what that situation feels like. Notice how you've got the moon that's appeared twice here this month. Um, pay close attention to any happenings around the full moon this month. Um, because I think that there's going to be something special or something very rare or something very fated around those dates, around when the full moon kicks in. And I also think... Uh, Watch your emotions this month, because I feel like uh, they're a little... It may be a bit of an emotional roller coaster. For the most part, I feel like you're very in control, especially with the King of Cups energy. You're very in control with your emotions. But there are going to be certain days where you might be... You might wake up and you might feel a certain way. Um, lean into what that is. You know, your mind might be trying to communicate something to you. Um, your mind or your body or your soul so for the most part I do think that you've got a good handle on your emotions but I do think that there's going to be some days or some situations where it's just going to be a little overwhelming or just a little bit intense so pay close attention to your emotions for pentacles energy I do think that there is something here you're holding on to tightly and it's funny how it's placed just below the ten of wands which she's also got this firm grasp around the sprouting wands you're holding on to something um it could be like an i and it's something that you're trying to protect right it could be like an id it could be uh, like your finances it just feels like you're holding on to it could be a thought a belief um I get it like why else would you want to hold on to it so tightly right if for no other reason then you don't want to lose it you don't want to let it go okay but what happens if you loosen up your grip a little bit i wonder if you know the idea that you've had if you've suddenly put it out there i wonder what will come back what will the feedback be like or what will the energies come back um, or if you've got this money that you've been, you know, sitting on and instead of it being saved up in your account, I wonder if you invested it in something. I don't know, just putting it out there because remember, when like when we hold on to something, it makes perfect sense. When we hold on to something too tightly, um, when we've got this really, you know, vice grip on something, we don't want to lose it, right? We don't want to let it go because we fear of losing it. Um, but because Behind this energy is a very fee-based energy that we operate in and the energy that you put out is the energy that you attract so you know if you shift the belief behind it I do think that there is going to be a shift in the energy the overall energies as well okay so if you lose your thinking from okay it's you're not going to lose this thing if anything is going to come back to you or it's going to come back bigger and better or you know you're going to make this investment take this action you're going to see these results you need to shift that shift away from that fear-based energy towards an energy of abundance because this is an energy of scarcity scarcity this is an energy of not having enough or being afraid to lose what you do have and this isn't the energy that you can that you grow rich or abundant in so some of you, I get it, you're holding on to it because you don't want to lose it. It's precious. It means something to you. It's valuable. I get that. But the energy that you operate in is a very fear-based energy. Learn to shift away from that energy. And you'll watch as things before you unfold very differently and slowly change. And you do have, you know, next to it, you do have the moon card, which is fear, anxiety, uncertainties, insecurities. Something that you're holding on to, it's, it's coming from an insecurity. Okay, It could be a belief, it could be a mindset. It's an insecure one. 
um, you're allowing for your insecurities, your fears and your anxieties to take control. You're giving it too much power you're, and it in turn is influencing your actions. Take a look. What are those? What are the things about you that make you insecure, or what? What is it about the way that you think that makes you feel that way? It makes you think and feel that way. Take a closer look, and try and not just treat the symptoms of what this is, but get down to the root of it. What is it that makes you feel so insecure about yourself, or about this relationship, or about this thing, or about your finances? Right. Try and get down to the root of it. If you treat the symptom, it's not going to fully heal, right? You're only just treating it at the surface level. You need to treat the symptom of what this is. Because there is something here that I feel like, honestly, it feels like it's kind of standing in the way of you and your success. Um, and if you can push past this, if you can, and it's not just like pushing it aside, it's learning, it's, you can take it, you can take this energy and you can turn it into something that is going to work for you rather than against you but to do that is going to require a little bit of soul searching is going to require a little bit of you know a little bit of work find out what this is and instead of having it work against you make it work for you and when that happens you'll notice such a drastic shift in the energies and in and in abundance as well So use this Ace of Swords. Use this Ace of Swords to like free yourself, to cut ties with any negative attitudes or any negative mindsets or any self-limiting beliefs that you have about yourself or about your situation because I think it's holding you back. And when you free yourself from those shackles that do feel like they have you, um, you know, have you locked in when you free yourself from those shackles you'll find that your life is going to shift things are going to start happening and showing up for you and the action that you are already taking is going to grow that much more abundant in results okay guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now